So if you start my intro to Photoshop tutorial where we post last week, and last week I be two weeks ago, and last week now be, anytime where I post that, I know say I don't post part one, now part two be this. So you go by the time you go watch the part one if you never watch them, so that you go feel continue. So for those people who start part one, congratulations, now part two be this. So, so we will not talk too much, too much on the full basket. Just open the Photoshop project first time, not their bag. Open them, open them, my bag. Open them now, they look me. So what we're going to need to do now, more scale out. To scale out, you go press command or control for your keyboard. Then you press minus. Uh -huh, it will scale out. If you continue to depress them, it will go down. But more generally, and so yeah. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to need to do now to off all this background. Of this one. Of this one. Make it transparent like this. Of more of all this text too. So more just leave only the picture. Like this. Yes. So what we're gonna need to do now. So what we're gonna need to do now now to add background. But I go my downloads. If let's say I don't get some downloads, some background. I see this get the image. I'm gonna leave this one first. Oh my puma mark this one. If you use this one. No, you go up and I go upload all the background for Google Drive. So you go check the link. From the link, you go fit, get the back, download the background and use. So I use this one, I download from Pexel. I cl click on them. You see, as I do, I drag and put. You see, I'm saying they under the messy picture. The reason why that one happened is because of, say, for year, for your layers, it's a messy picture, they up, then the background, they down. What we go do now? We say we go press Command T. No, more no more scale. More even like this. We just click on them, drag them, hold Shift. So that you go do for the same line. We put them somewhere around here. Then the next thing we go need to do now to rasterize this picture so that we go fit clean some parts. You come here, right click. You will see rasterize layer. If you see rasterize layer, you will notice uh, this thing with the like paper file will come out when you rasterize. So control shift Z, rasterize like this. So the next thing now to come this second guy, this guy this box here. So now selection tool, but now square selection. So we select them. Then we click here, hold down like this. We won't cut out all this all this uh, dark parts like this. Then right click layer via cut or you just press command X or control X. It don't go. So not only the grass we get, the up the empty. Mama go back my file. I'll mark this one. I don't use this one too. So I'm use this one from Getty Image. Click on them. Drag and put. We're going to need to scale this one up. We we'll scale this one up. We're going to need to make sure say, this guy here, this background, this field, they under this guy. So what do we go do now? We say we go click on that background which is this one click on them then carry and put on top then go down click on this one then go our selection tool you know if you want move move tool you're gonna need to sorry go your move tool you know if you want move you're gonna need to move click and drag so we click we make sure say they like this make all those grass come out then we Scale up. Hmm? Abi? Yes, 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 yes. Um, but more scale the image down some more. Scale this image down some more. You know, say so if you put shadows for this leg, so to push, I don't know what I'm going to need to push shadow, but I'm just show you how to push shadow. So to push shadow, you're going to need to press the plus sign to create new layer. Make sure your color now black. Go brush tool. 
then increase your brush size or decrease if it's big. Right click, make sure say this selection is for soft round. Select soft round. Make sure say you select the new layer where you create. Then click on space like this. You go create this black dot. But if you look the edge, you can notice say the edge they faded. And because of say we choose soft round. Uh -huh. So the next thing, you go your move tool, you go edit, then you go transform, free transform. So we need to scale this one up or down. But what do you want to do? We want make and day flat, like slant. So what we go do we say we go hold shift for our keyboard, click here, then you can see I'm see the thing don't the slant like this, flat like this. So the next thing I to click on that shadow. We'll put on somewhere here. Um it there on top this layer. So more we'll carry them down. Yes. But the only challenge we I get with this thing now we say the shadow will make and they like say in leg they reach ground. So you know they you know they realistic. So we could turn off the shadow. Turn her off here. Right? Or more on them. We can and go the other leg. Must see something. You know enter. You know enter like that. So not only when somebody they stand, now it will make sense to push shadow. But this one. From this picture movement, you're going to notice it in the jump. Yes, so you know, enter. So we're going to need to turn off the shadow. When I don't mind my, my layer, so, so it did good, eh? Make you they rename your layers. So, right, go, go get organized project. But me, I'm not be organized person. Because me, I know how, I know my layers, I know the one what I need. But for you, it could make sense, make you the. Rename and make it not go day crowded. Yota. Mm -hmm. Then more of them. Uh, this design feels day like this, but most of what I would go feel had logo. We could just assume. You know, with me, I go browser. I just write on. Much search on PSG, PNG logo. Have we? Yeah, we click on this first one. If you use this one, no? more use this one with we, we, we the popular. So I'll just copy them. If you download that, in short, my download that, I'll go put that inside the folder. Then you go to your download, where you don't download them. With that Photoshop there. Open Photoshop. Then carry here. Put on top. Then you scale. Scale. Depending on the size where you want. If you put on here, yeah, I will yeah, they okay. Or oh, no, more we'll put more we'll put on here. Yeah. You know what? More we'll just turn them off first. So more we'll go on our text back. One five assist. But the text now they don't show why? Because they they under this background. So we'll carry this background like this. Carry this background, go put behind all the text so that they will show well. 801 goes. We'll, we'll just put this one up. Yeah, more. We'll, this figure is not the correct, so if you check the correct figures, if you, I think Messi there around 300 and something assist. Might just put on 300 plus assist. The map put goes. I put Oga. Okay. Put goes. It on red. I hope say so you go feel change text. I do one for the previous tutorial. So check them. Mojo off this one first. So this font, this font, this font. This font not fit the design. Typography now have different type of work on it, so no. So more I just change this for me. Maybe I just put like 
I put like which one? I might use this the dot the, the dot font. I'll just scale them down some more. Scale them down some more like this. Then um oh I might leave the font. The font the font not fit sure. But I don't want to waste too much time. We are the fine font. I can try drug. I leave drug. Yes, my is drug. Then yeah, double click to highlight them. Come here. Then drug. Drug. Um. Change the color to white so that I go be legible. Command T. Or transform scale up like this like this i'll put this one here you know with much oliver like this um with that logo my own i see whether we could see any difference all this in a real assumption or you know, know because messi not the not the psg you know what we could just assume we could just assume say we don't feel this design Plenty things to do. I even the talk. I say plenty things to put for this design choke. So we could just assume, say we don't feel design like this. So what we're gonna need to do now, now say get one other thing where they like art for my design. And that thing and noise. So what I could do is say I will call my layers, select the first one, go to the last one, hold shift, click, all of them go select, then I press command G. Or I click on this folder icon like this to group everything. So everything we don't design there inside this group. Or farm like this. Or num. Or farm. Or num. Then we we'll duplicate the group. Duplicate the group. Of the second one. Might might put this logo on top of the group. Then right click. Go to merge group. So the group now will come become layer. One ever the two desire will come inside one layer. So what you will come to now say you will come go filter noise add noise. If you look the design now, you go notice say you get one noise with the you can't give the design one kind maturity if you understand what they talk if you decide to increase the noise here yeah, you don't do too much you can't go up like this picture don't spoil design don't spoil put on somewhere around let's say 9.50 one more level like this or might put on for 11 or 12 put on for 12 i'll say not too much 12 too much we'll put on for 10 then when you click on okay more on that logo i command the logo so that the noise no go dead the logo the black said noise don't too much but you get the idea you get the idea of what they try to talk then when you finish um you save like i showed you for last time just file save us or save file save us Change Photoshop to JPEG or PNG. You click on, click on save. 4.7 MB at the size of this design now, of this picture. But if you decide to drop them to medium, you drop them to high, medium, or low. See as logo affect the picture. Uh -huh, but now maximum I shall pass. Maximum. Then we click on OK. So the design I just rough I just rough sketch. You know to I know I won't just run them up so that you gonna have to put background. And you know, say if you want to put background for picture, you go need to put the background below the image. Like this messy picture now. All the background they below below like this below like this so we're going to move into other things maybe our next class we're going to 
try a bit minimal design more of white space and text you know so but one thing i want to challenge you and say any design where you see where you like hmm? just try to recreate them open photoshop use photoshop to recreate them mm. and with that if you actually practice you go to know how different things they work inside photoshop without practice you go watch video, watch video tire. I practice be the cocoa. I will leave you here. I will leave you here. Make a not go make the tutorial too long. Fifteen minutes already. I will leave you here so that we will continue next time. So go sleep. Go sleep. Go get ready for the next class. So our next class now, like I tell you before, now minimalism. Now design with the beat geared towards Apple. So stay on this page. I believe say I will drop tutorial on motion graphics, the intro to After Effects. Like this picture now, this design now. If we decide to animate them, if we decide to make them the dance, you know. So motion graphics now. Graphics where they move, and the motion graphics. So now say just be. I believe say by now, go feed do something, Abi. Uh -huh. You could do something. If you like, you like. If you like, you comment. If you like, you share. For those people who never subscribe, turn on notification. It is say they do me, but you do yourself. I don't go.